Hello, it's Markham and Torch here from Markham 3D, and today I'm going to show you two really good tips working with animation data. So at the moment, I've been working with a Perception Neuron to get my motion capture come in. However, I have so much data come through that my workspace is actually really slow. So I'm clicking around the timeline. You can see it's taking quite a bit of time. So first up, if we expand all this, Wow, it's still catching up. We can see that we've got a whole bunch of information here. What I'm gonna do is double tap A in the graph view to have everything selected. And then I'm gonna press space to search or F3 if you've got that as search or if you're on a laptop, Fn F3. And I'm just gonna type in clean keyframes. And so what that's gonna do is all the points which are fairly straight, it is going to remove those keyframes in between. So what's actually gonna happen is for instance, scale on the calf, I know that there's no scaling doing on the calf, same as the location and all that jazz. So what I can do now is come onto the frame one, or sorry, the first frame of my animation, and I've got it selected at the moment. And what I'm just gonna do is press the delete button. And what you'll see is a whole bunch of these, probably all the X locations will be gone and all the X scales will be gone. So let's now press delete, delete keyframes, Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And it's already cleaned up the viewport dramatically. And we can see all these gaps here as well, which that clean keyframes has sorted out. So we can see it's a little bit more responsive, which is good. But now we're gonna talk about previewing the animation data, because at the moment, if I were to press shift space, look, I'm gonna get an expert to help us out. We can still see that it's janky as. So let's come up into the top here on the editor type and we'll change to non-linear animation. I've got this rig selected, which is what we've been working on. What I'm gonna do is come down here and push the action down. And now what I can do is I can press shift space. I'm the only one putting in the hard yards. Look, I'm gonna get an expert to help us out. And we can see that the animation runs very smoothly now you little beauty. Now, if I wanna go back in and start cleaning up the data and start redoing an animation, what I can do is I can just right click on the track, start editing. And from here, we can go into kind of pose mode and select our bone and do whatever we want. G to the Y, lift him up so he does a twist. And then I can go right click, stop editing. And then we're back in here. <laughs> now he's kind of crooked. <laughs> So if this was a really helpful tool, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And if you can, give me that thumbs up. <laughs> and until next time.